I'm normally a person that doesn't use 21st century materials. I will use, within my philosophy of creativity, materials that are natural and that are actually decaying by time. When I confronted myself with scissor stone the first time, I was not truly believing I could do something special with it. I thought it would not give me the flavor I wanted. But now that I've used it, I've understood that it's actually the opposite. Because what I did is like I focus much more on the ability of the material. The enriching part of scissor stone is actually when you combine it. You know, when you combine it, you, you create contrast. Not only by creating contrast with color, but also with textures and different reflections that you get in the material. So immediately I thought about uh, the marquetry could be an interesting use. Now, if you think about marquetry, how it used to be done with marble, it's hardly impossible to make it, you know, in this scale. But if you think about the plates of scissor stone and the way technology allows you to cut it, then you can bring it up and bring something really special to it. So this is how I discovered it. Sort of putting it together, understanding that this was perfect, and then by cutting it with the high-tech technology they got, you get an amazing result, like a 21st century marquetry, which is actually something you don't see so often. This kid is being cut in scissors stone, yeah? Ta, 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 no, one material, another material. So for me now, I look at the material in a completely different way. I think scissor stone is much more luxurious than we think. So today I'm kind of changing my philosophy. I use a lot of different combinations of the material to actually show the diversity of the material. For me, it was this idea of creating something that is more spectacular, bringing up characters, bringing up, you know, like a sort of a theatrical scene to it. So I sort of looked at folklore in a random way, trying to get influences to get those to be used on the patterns and graphical elements that I use on the scissor stone installation. As a visitor, you enter this palace, which is completely amazing, you know, in terms of size and grandeur, it used to belong to Napoleon. And when you enter the installation, you're seeing a complete new world that you haven't seen before, and it just shocks you around. And you sort of get a lot of energy from it, because it's made and built from energy. You'll see graphics you've never seen, you've seen the material performing completely different, and when you get out of there, you think you're in Milan in the furniture fair, but you've seen a fantastical world. This is what happens.